This is Joyce Banbury with Thrift and Pick Country Style and I've had a few people ask me about the custom label field on your eBay listing page so I'm going to show you today how to find that. You go to simply go to your my eBay and go to selling and then it will bring up your listing page which looks like this. Then go to customize and go down here to the custom label and click it. Make sure that it's got the check mark in it and then go to apply and that will put that field on your listing page. For example, here is mine. Now how do I use this? Well, I purchase banker boxes because m many of my listings are small and the ones that aren't are on shelving that is also labeled. But let's just talk about the banker boxes right now. I have a label on a, ba on a banker's box that says one dance ER. And that is my identifier for knowing where to find this particular item because this item will be located in this box in the area that I have specified here. Now I have more than one eBay ID so if the other ID was uh, being used for this particular item it would reflect that in my custom label. Then when I go to sell this item when it's sold I just simply go to my item where it shows that it's been sold and right there it'll show the custom label field so I can go immediately to the box that it's in and pull it out. Now it's really essential that when you're doing sell similars that you change that custom field if you're using the same template that you use for this one. In other words, make sure that this is absolutely correct or you'll find yourself going through all the boxes. So this is a simplified way to handle a lot of smaller inventory and if you have shelving you can always label your shelving and find larger inventory on your shelving and put that uh, keywords or uh, label identifiers in your custom fi a label field. It's fairly simple. Uh, doesn't take any real time when you're listing because all you do is just add it. When you add it though you want to make sure you save it because if you don't it won't save. So this is just a simple little tip and way for you to categorize your inventory. You can also add that field to your spreadsheet if you have your inventory set up on a spreadsheet. Um, that's probably the way a lot of professionals would do it anyway. So just wanted to share this little bit of information with you and uh, when I have a little bit of time I'll uh, go upstairs and film some of the bankers boxes and show you. Now one thing I will say is that when you your box gets low and doesn't have a lot of merchandise left in it, you still need to refill it up. So if you can just bring it to where you're listing, you can add items to it as long as you make sure that you are changing this field if you need to change it. If you don't need to change it, for example, if I wanted to add 10 more uh, fabric five quarters on separate listings but I'm using the same um, template that I used for this one then this wouldn't change. It would still be the same because I'm going to add them all to the same banker's box. Just a tip for you. Hope you find it useful. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll do the best I can to answer. Thank you.